Over the last couple of months, I've been designing and prototyping this 3D printable PC case. And in this video, we're talking about all the parts involved and how the assembly looks like. This project started as a request if I could just 3D print a mini ITX compatible computer case for a company from my local area, but their original design had a lot of issues. It was only STL files, so I offered to redo it completely from scratch. First of all, I got it reverse engineered by a 3D designer on Fiverr. His name is Satish Kumar. He is specialized on reverse engineering. He did a pretty good job in creating the first version of this case. I can really recommend this person. I've also put their profile link down in the description. From this point, I took it further and made all kinds of adjustments. For example, I started to create a customized outlet for the I.O. panel. Later, I added the threaded inserts and then I created a new SSD holder for two SSDs instead of one with this easier to use slot design. What 3D printed parts is this case made of? The case consists of six elements. The bottom part, which also has four standing feet and a grid for air inlet, the mainboard holder, the hard disk or SSD holder, then the outer shell, and finally a fan ring with LED lighting and the top part with air vents. Everything is mounted together using M3 and M4 screws. All parts have threaded inserts for easier assembly and maintenance. How did I print this project? I used my highly modified Ender 3 printers to print all the parts for this project using dust filament black and transparent PLA. But when I started printing the project, my printers weren't ready. They were all kind of different. So over the last couple of weeks, I upgraded all of my Ender printers to direct drive extruders and Hero Me 5 cooling system. All parts with the exception of the top cap, which needs more detail, are printed in 0.28 mm layer heights, though the overall print time for a complete case is about 80 hours depending on the print settings. What computer parts are we using to assemble this? This computer will host a Gigabyte B660i Aorus Pro mainboard in mini ITX format, but the case also works with other mainboards that are mini ITX sized. We'll also add an Intel 12th generation i5 processor, the i5-12400. It has integrated graphics, probably also usable for gaming, but this is something to be tested. Also on the mainboard will be 32GB DDR4 RAM and a 512GB M2 SSD for the operating system and applications. Another 1TB SSD is going to be added for additional application storage in the next steps. Instead of using a traditional ATX power supply, which clearly wouldn't fit in this little case, we're using a combination of a Pico PSU, which plugs directly into the mainboard, and an external 150 watt Leica power supply. How exactly is this all coming together? The bottom part holds the mainboard stand, which first is fixed by three M4 screws. Next, the pre-assembled mainboard is fixed to the mainboard stand by another four M4 screws. The power switch is inserted into the base as well as the plug for the power supply. Our computer is clearly taking shape, but we still have a few steps to go. Next up, the additional SSD gets fixed into the SSD holder and then the SSD holder gets mounted to the base with another two M4 screws. Now we're connecting the SSD to the mainboard and to the power supply and we also tidy up the cables a bit with zip ties. Next, the 120mm case fan is connected to the mainboard and then we're ready to put the outer shell over. It slides over the mainboard and finally we need to align the front panel with the outlet. The shell is fixed from the bottom part with another 4 M3 screws, so we need to turn the case over to do this. Next, I'm preparing the fan ring. I insert the LED strip into the slot since this LED strip is waterproof, it requires more clearance and it's harder to get it in. Non-waterproof LED strips will fit in easier. The 120mm case fan is now mounted to the fan ring with four screws. The LED strip gets connected to the mainboard and then we can mount the fan ring to the shell using another four screws. Last but not least, the top cap gets fixed to the fan ring with another four screws. That wasn't too complicated, was it? Let's see if the computer will boot up. 
and it seems to work fine. The LED strip also works. The fan seems to be working as well, transporting the heat out of the shell through the top ring. What's next up with this project? There is still a few adjustments to make. For example, the I.O. panel will get a redesign and probably the outer shell will get a few more details to make it a bit more special. I'm not spawning too much at this moment, but it's gonna get awesome. This unit is going to become our office server and maybe I'll do some gaming tests on it. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested to see this on the channel. You're probably interested if this design will be made available for download at some point in the future and I can tell you that I'm working on making this possible. I cannot promise anything yet, but it will take a few more work to finalize a few things. Hopefully in a few weeks, I'll have a version that I can share with the public. I'll keep you posted on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed. If you found value watching this video, please hit the like button and maybe watch another video from my channel that I've linked up here for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.